All right, so the second half here is 8-5, and this is, you're going to require that worksheet I gave you because um, this paper is our notes. Um, and so we're going to do a couple on this back side that says classifying even, odd, or neither. Um, we're going to go back to even and odd, which is really similar to how we did even and odd with sine and cosine and tangent and all those, um, but we're going to be applying them to rational functions. Um, as opposed to trig. Uh, in class tomorrow, we'll do the back side, the number one, two, three, and four. So this side we're going to do in class tomorrow. If you think you remember information about how to find, tell if it's a function, your domain, your range from a graph, you can go ahead and try that. But I was planning on doing this front side in, in class tomorrow. But tonight, uh, I just wanted to go through at least a few of these odd and even to be able to tell whether or not we have an odd or an even function. So up here in the box, you'll notice that it tells you the definition of even and odd. So for an even function, that's when if you plug in negative x, you'll still come out with the same value you got for f of x. If it's odd, when you plug in negative x, you get the exact opposite of what you got when you plugged in um, f of x. Here you'll see we also gave you some graphical terms. Um, an even function is symmetrical about the y-axis. So when we had done um, sine and cosine graphs, so we have our sine, which starts up, and we have our cosine. This was some, the cosine was symmetrical about the y-axis. That's what made it even. And when it was odd, symmetrical about the origin. So if we plugged in this x value, when we plug in negative x, we got the exact opposite. So this one was our odd function. So what we're going to look at, rather than just the graphical, we're going to look at the algebraic way to be able to tell if it's odd or even. So the algebraic way is just plugging in negative x and see what you get. Is what you get your original function? Is what you get the exact opposite of it? Or is it neither one? Is it something totally random that doesn't match at all? So when we look at number five here, to again, to tell if it's odd or even, we're going to start by plugging in negative x. So just like in the difference quotient, we're going to plug negative x in everywhere we see x to evaluate. And I'm going to simplify after I do that. So negative x squared, two negatives make a positive, so it'll become just x squared. The 5 didn't have anything changed to it, it's just 5. So does this, our result, so this is f of negative x. Does that match f of x? If it does, so is this the same as what we started with? If it does, like this one, then you would say, whoops, not yes, you would say that it's even. Because plugging in the negative x gave us, and simplifying, gave us our original equation back. That's what happens when you have an even function. If we look at something like number 6, and we do the same thing, we're going to find g of negative x. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug in negative x instead of x. So negative x to the third is going to stay negative, because if you had negative x times negative x times negative x, you'd get negative x to the third. But here I have two negatives, that'll become a plus x. So when I look at this where I am now, this is g of negative x. Does this match g of x? No. It's slightly off. This is negative where this is positive, and this is negative where this one's positive. So then I think, what happens if I were to take out a negative from my denominator? So if I were to take a negative out, that would become x to the third, and that would become minus x. So this, what's in parentheses now of that we've taken out a negative, that now matches, that's by definition of odd.
because g of negative x equals negative of our original function. So that's what makes this one odd. So when we do these algebraically, we're going to plug in negative x and evaluate. And you want to look at, after you evaluate and try to simplify, if it matches your original given equation, it's even. If you pull out a negative and then it matches, that's odd. Now, if you do that and neither of them work, that would be a neither. So let's look at number eight. <coughs> so if we look at number eight, again, we're going to plug in negative s. So negative s squared minus 3 times negative s plus 1. So everywhere there was an s, we now make it a negative s. Negative s squared, so two, squaring a negative will make it positive. Two negatives make a positive, and the 1 doesn't change. So when I look at my equation right now, does this match what we were given at the beginning? No, it's just a little bit off. The 3 up here is negative, well now it's positive. So then I try taking out a negative to see if it's an opposite. So it's, we know it's not even because it didn't match. So if I take out a negative from everything, does what's left in parentheses match what we were given? No, so it's not odd. So if it's not even and it's not odd, this would be an example of neither. Okay, seven we can do in class, and we can look at that one uh, together then. And then nine and ten, these are graphs that you want to look to see. Are they symmetrical about the y-axis or are they symmetrical about the origin? So if you look at number nine, this one, it's not symmetrical about the y-axis. Because if I were to put a mirror here, it's not reflected over. But it is similar to that sine graph where it's symmetrical about the origin. This up here matches this side down here. That, by definition, is odd. Here we have a parabola, which is centered at the, which has its center on the y-axis. So if we put a mirror up here and reflect it, it is symmetrical about the y-axis, making it even. So when you have the graph, it's, you can look simply at the symmetry around the origin or the y-axis. Uh, the algebraic should be the part that's a little bit newer. And that's where we plug in negative x and simplify to see, do we get the same equation out that we started with? If you do, then it's even. If it's not, take out a negative. Now does it match? If you take out a negative and it still doesn't match, that's, um, then it's neither. But if you take out a negative and it does match, that's odd. Okay, so the rest of the 8.5 we'll do in class. So the other side of this we'll do together because we will talk about labeling graphs, domain range, and how to tell if we have a function, increasing, decreasing, and constant. And we'll do this last one, number 7. So again, come with questions on the odd and even that uh, we've gone over so far. If you have questions, please bring them. Um, we'll finish it up in class tomorrow, and I will see you then.